In this video, we're gonna see if I can build a perfect 20-0 team using a wheel of free agents. We have free agent kickers and punters, safeties, cornerbacks, linebackers, yes, dealers, yes, 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 tight ends, oh. wide receivers, oh. running backs, oh. and quarterbacks. Oh, we are using spotrack.com. They have a thorough list of free agents as of March 2nd, 2023. I have to tell you the date is very important because in a couple weeks on March 15th, that's when the new NFL season starts. That's when free agency officially begins. And up until then, you're going to have some notable names that are going to be cut to help teams get under the salary cap. So if you're watching it on one of those days and someone like a Joe Mixon or Zeke Elliott or Dalvin Cook, you know, some of these big names are cut. Now you know why they're not in this video because it has not happened yet. But if this video gets enough likes, Likes, we'll come back in a few weeks and do another one. Some of the players in this video are probably going to be signed, but there's going to be some new names. And here we go, man. Starting with the free agent kickers and punters, we're going to get two of these bad boys. Greg Joseph being the first one. The good thing about this is they can play either position. So Greg Joseph is probably going to be our kicker. Matt Gay probably going to be our punter. And just like that, we're on to the safeties, man. We're starting with Deron Harmon. I still haven't decided if I want to take just three safeties or four. I, it depends who we get to be honest but Devin McCourty number two now I know some of you guys are gonna pause and, and go through a whole list of all the safeties all the free agents I didn't use every single free agent that would have taken ages but yeah there's obviously more than what 25 30 free safeties this is a top heavy position we're gonna end off with Keanu Neal I won't lie to you I I'm gonna be completely honest we could have done better at safety Devin McCourty solid but there's some great names over there Jamel Dean that's a great start to the cornerbacks no disrespect to Harmon or any of the other safeties you got I'm just saying Jesse base was there cjgj you know what i'm saying aj boye cb number two just take a second look at the cornerback hood just 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 look at it man we have some great options bradbury byron murphy janoris jack rabbit jenkins greedy williams you know some of these guys haven't been in the league for a little bit i added them because their names are great you know greedy that's what i need y'all to be with the like button be as greedy as possible man hit it once twice other accounts whatever you need to do cameron sutton cb4 we're going for depth on this team and i'm trying to go 20 and no what if someone gets injured okay well someone's playing bad i need to be able to be flexible okay cb5 we're ending off with bobby mccain now we have the linebackers this one i put all the outside linebackers the mlbs some guys that sometimes play on the d line you know just trust and believe that we're gonna get some good linebackers man first up is rashawn evans some of the highlights of this will you have guys like bobby wagner you have tremaine edmonds you have even guys like dante hightower and there we go wagner yes sir that was huge that might be the best spin so far of the video man levante still there lve drew tranquil very underrated and then you have some guys that are better in real life than they are in madden and then vice versa like someone like devin bush would be amazing for madden nick kwiatkowski another underrated beast so that's four lbs down if we run a three four we're going to need some backups so i need at least two more quan alexander and this is the final spin we need to end off with a bang man right now wagner's our best lb can we get someone else tj edwards all right linebackers safeties cornerbacks kickers punters that's good right now we need to be able to generate some pressure we're gonna go to the d-line starting with sheldon rankins hopefully this defense is gonna be at the top of the rankings you know when it's all said and done here comes our second d-lineman ah! arguably the best one available javon hargrave i mean pretty much half of the eagles defensive line is on this wheel i mean all of them are free agents so i knew we were gonna get one of them david on yamada and i gotta think you know what if we run a 4-3 so we need four starting d-linemen just in case and then a couple guys for depth Derek Nottie from Kansas City all right two more that's all I need, man. We have some veteran names like Justin Houston, Jadevion. You have Yannick Ngakwe. I'll take it. You have guys like Linval, Ndamukong Su, Melvin Ingram, man. There's a lot of phenomenal names. How about a former first overall pick, Jadevion Clowney? Right to the next one, man. We are going to the offensive line. We're going to get five starters, of course, and then two, maybe three backers. We'll see. Oh, we were so close to Kelsey. I'll take another elite center, Rodney Hudson. This one could go either way. I mean, I put some guys on here because it would be funny like will clap <laughs> old lineman number two we're gonna get Jawan taylor but for the most part as long as we get guys that aren't in like the low 60s i think we'll be okay we get Jawan james here we go man spin number four we're gonna get a fellow four eyes brethren okay trey yes, turner sir. how i look at it is this if it's a guy that even casuals can name 
then you know that's a good spin, okay? Mike McGlinchey. Now, even if you're a casual, if you're sub to this channel, you have been for a while, you should know that name, okay? That's Matt Ryan's cousin. I've done videos with him. Isaiah Wynn. I'm gonna need 20 of his last names at the end of this video, man. Final spin. So close to Kelsey again. Why are they doing this to me? Bruh. George Fan. And now our lists are kind of shrinking a little bit because now we're getting to the skill positions on offense. Did I put a lot of the best ones here? Yes. But is that a guarantee that we're gonna get all the best? No. So Dalton Schultz, hey, I'll take it. That's a great start. And to be fair, you know, tight ends, we're only getting three. And not like these other positions, we're getting like six, seven players, okay? Robert Tunyon. See, now you're, you're gonna be surprised at who I would want. Like, Gasicki's phenomenal, but I wouldn't mind a Max Williams. I wouldn't mind one of those guys like a Hayden Hurst that could block. We'll take an Irv Smith, someone with speed. Now let's go to the wide receiver wheel, man. You can't forget about Odell. Robert Woods is on here, DJ Chark. Some guys that are near the end of their career, like T.Y. Hill and Randall Cobb. There's some veteran names, so this one's very, very unpredictable. We're gonna start with Olamide. Hey, I'll be honest, I didn't want to try to butcher that last name. I just know he is underrated. He had a good year for the Falcons. We're gonna get Jacoby Myers. I'm gonna try to get five wide receivers. So we're two down. We have three left. I, I, I need I need somebody. Come on, I need a wide receiver one. Alan Lazard. Please, Lord, let us get a one, man. If you haven't subscribed, do it now for good luck. See what happens. Odell Beckham Jr. Let's go. Come on. I just want to say thank you. If you're one of those people that hit that subscribe button just then and now, I appreciate you. If you already subscribed, I appreciate you. Juju ending it off. I'm going to be honest. He needs to relax. Okay. He needs to stop taking shots at the Eagles and AJ Brown and all that. Please just, just enjoy your ring in silence. Why you have to do all that? I'm going to still try to get you another ring in this video though. The running back situation, man. Speaking of rings. Oh yeah. McKinnon just got one. Okay. You don't see him doing this dumb stuff that Juju's doing. Austin Scott. I think those are the only two running backs here that have rings man we have Kenyon Drake he had some solid games for the Ravens last year but I don't think that's good enough for our RB number one Jamal Williams that's a great goal line back see this will could be a lot different in the next video so uh even though I like what we got right now I, I think it'd be a little bit better okay Tony Pollard that's a solid RB one <laughs> wait till you see the and finally the wheel of quarterbacks, man. Lamar, of course, we know he's most likely going to get re-signed by the Ravens, maybe franchise that. Who knows? But I would love to get Lamar as my QB number one. We're only going to get two because three would be a little overkill. We're going to get two and Derek Carr is who we start with. I'll take it. He's in his car. He's headed to I don't know, one of the airports. You know, he's flying to New York. He's flying to, I don't know, somewhere. Oh my goodness, Lamar Jackson, man. We got lucky. Doug Peterson's quest for ring number two starts now. Here's the final roster, man. We got extremely lucky once again with Lamar Jackson, Derek Carr at the quarterback position. I might even leave it in there unedited so you guys can see it for yourself. There was no shenanigans. It was the first two spins right after we got Tony Pollard as the last running back and our first running back our starter jamal the power back kenyon has some debt obj and juju that's a solid one too with jacoby lazar zacchius man that's some great depth right there tight ends even better with tonyan and irv smith both guys with star schultz at tight end number one three guys at an 80 plus overall on the o-line could be a fourth at the end of the season with isaiah win trey turn a little old i don't think he'll develop fast enough to get to an 80 but i love the offense 87 overall these Defense has no abilities, but look at that scheme for man. This 4-3 could not be more perfect. Okay, secondary, we have the veteran presence in Devin McCourty. Linebackers, we have a former 99 overall. I'm pretty sure Wagner was up there. Maybe not 99, but he was in the high 90s. Edwards with speed, tranquil, just tackling machines all over the place. D-line, one of the most important spins of the video. Javon Hargrave, best player on the D-line. Maybe the best available free agent at the D-line position. And then the cornerbacks, we have Boyer who hasn't played in a while. Then we have McCain, who recently became a free agent like last week. Jamel Dean, great cornerback. Sutton, greedy, which is easily one of the best names for a corner possible. And one thing that makes everything better is, of course, some love. Julian as strong safety. Joseph and Gay at kicker and punter. And then look at Kenyon Drake, man. That smirk just knows we're about to go on a nasty run this season. Let's take a look at how they are in week number one. See if we can get them off to a great start. This is how we're going to do it, man. Every 
single game we're going to sim. And if we get off to a bad start like this, I can't go in and help them out until the fourth quarter. So I need them to be doing their thing. Way to come back, man. They were down 14-0. 28 unanswered for the squadron in game one of the season. Make it 35 unanswered. What a comeback by Lamar and company. I don't even have to help them. 42 straight. Washington finally made it a close game, but Lamar had six tutties. He's trying to get MVP number two. Only one interception along with a 382 yards. Phenomenal start. Juju had a tutty. Schultz had two. Jacoby had two. Odell didn't get one, but he will very soon. Upgrades are going to be very important, man. There's some guys that I think could develop from star to maybe superstar. Someone like Tony Pollard, maybe Odell. So that's a huge upgrade in week number one. Going to go week by week just so we can see if there's any, you know, superstar dev trait requirements, things like that. Game number two up against JT and the Colts. So here we go, man. Will they get off to a terrible start like they did in the first game? Technically, no. Okay, unless you think both teams got off to a bad start. We do strike first with a field goal in the second quarter. Very low scoring game. Defensive battle right now. We finally find the end zone in the third, but so do the Colts. We're going to go play by play right now. Okay, we get three points right there. If the Colts take the lead, I have to go in there and help them out. Luckily, the defense holds strong and does not let them score. Not only that, but we add to our lead and we're 2-0 on the season. Lamar with two more tutties, giving him eight in just two games. Our starting tight end, Dalton Schultz, get us an upgrade this time. I would love if he can get the star at least, maybe even superstar eventually, but right now, let's just upgrade his possession. Get him to an 84 overall. Week number three, up against the talented but defeated Los Angeles Chargers. I'm looking at the roster right now. Maybe the only player of note from the Chargers that we took is Drew Tranquil. So their team is extremely stacked like it has been for as long as I can remember, man. So yeah, this start is not too surprising. It could be our first L of the season. I'm going to get in there in the fourth quarter. Have to try to come back from 13 down. And here's a reminder on all pro and simulation. Not to mention they're already in the red zone. Second down and seven. Play action. Great play action right there, man. Great tackle. We must get off the field right here to keep our hopes of going 20 and 0 alive, man. Third down and three. Oh no. Eckler out the backfield. Eckler getting lit up, but it's a first down. Man, this team, how are they 0 2? How in the world are they 0 2? Okay. Oh! Oh, we can't drop that pick. Come on. Herbert Loki had two people open or, or one of them because I had to I had to pick and choose. I had to figure out who I was going to cover. Instead, he decides to go to the end zone. Eckler on third down gets a nice game, but not the first. Good stop. We finally get to see what Lamar is able to do. Probably the best roster he's faced so far in this season. And now we're down multiple possessions. Need a touchdown and a two-point conversion. Pollard with a nice run after the catch. Gonna hit the hurry up. Let's see if we can go deep right here. Actually, we're take off Lamar let's go man we need all the yards on the ground we can get not gonna use any timeouts just yet gonna see if we can uh go to triangle Pollard out the backfield this time second and six safety creeping up don't know about that one triangle open let's just get the first down Jacoby with a nice play getting out of bounds third down and three triangle wide open Lamar keeping the chains moving Odell yes beautiful route that's why i was happy we got odell touchdown i'm gonna spread everything out maybe go to the uh to the tight end i think dalton schultz right here should be able to get open there it is Bruh. oh lamar what was that oh my goodness i pressed l2 to get a low point pass man so i guess you can blame me I, you know l2 it hasn't been working the best this year Madden, and, and that might have just costed us our undefeated season he's gonna pass this ball man i was not ready for it i came out in all out blitz third down and five herbert's gonna pass this thing how did he catch that man eckler is just different so we have officially lost the game and lamar's still having a great season but we're not gonna go on defeated breakout wide receiver let's go just wanted to say i really appreciate you involving me da 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 keep throwing it okay juju three tutties and 150 yards rushing receiving we need this bad so i'm gonna play week number five against the one and three texans oh he's open He's wide open, Juju, with a nice tiptoe catch. I should have put it in bounds more. Yeah, that, that sucks. We could have low-key had a touchdown. Juju with his second catch of the game. Third and goal. I probably should have done like a jet sweep or something like that. But you know what? Let's go to the slant. Let's go to the... Oh, no. Lamar throws a pick. I try to force it to him. Oh, what a route right there from Juju getting the first down. One man to beat. Get off him. Praying it's man defense and he can run a crispy route. Let's see what happens. Third and goal there it is juju just catch it thank you 
Touchdown number one. Moved all the way down the field. Second carry for Juju. This time it's a successful one. Touchdown number two. Start of the fourth quarter. Looking to get Juju. Touchdown number three. And I think we're going to be able to do it. There it is. We got the dev trait up to a superstar. They gave him deep and elite. That's not bad at all. Next over upgrade, he's going to be able to get another one. Week number nine, we're five and three. We have a breakout QB. I'm a little shocked. Lamar's already X Factor. So look at this possible mean there were one or fewer interceptions have 400 scrimmage yards or four touchdowns for a significant amount of xp okay hey man we hope he does it but it really doesn't matter he's already x factor if he wasn't then i would let's see if he was able to do it though not too much he made it known oh, okay so he definitely didn't do it unfortunately his death trait was already the best who cares and we caught the w now we have a huge game against the chiefs let's see if they're able to win this bad boy they get the w 35 21 this right here was a statement win that's huge for Lamar's chances to get the MVP, beating another former MVP, the best quarterback in the league, in Patrick Mahomes, man, credit to the defense. Javon and Clowney both had a sack and a half apiece. We're in week 17, still first in the division, playing against the 2-13 and 13 Texans, but we're only up one game on the Titans. However, we have a breakout DB, Julian Love. Gotta hold the Texans to less than 200 yards, or get that man a turnover, man. I think they can do it. They were dominant against the Texans in the first game and they get the w huge win right there let's view this message we didn't get him an upgrade it's all good right now we need this trench boost against the titans for the division the amount of sacks you allow will determine how much xp each lineman earns okay i'm gonna be honest with you I, I did not check the standings i didn't check the playoff bracket all i know right now is win and we're in this is a huge game and there's a safety we're down 13 at halftime man. fourth quarter i get to go in there and help them out but we're already down 21 okay now it's a little bit more manageable we have the football and we're driving so you know what things could be a little bit worse 30 passes only 12 rushes not a very balanced attack man dalton schultz however with a nice catch we're inside the 21 i'm gonna send mr beckham jr deep he's not gonna be open there's a flag could be holding we're gonna take off just in case lamar down inside the 10 let's see what the flag's for dang it i knew it was holding it's coming back need mcglinchy to tighten up before i get his cousin to come discipline man first down and 20 oh no okay Dalton what a route right there two amazing plays on this drive one possession game biggest play of the game up until this point need to get a stop badly out of bounds baby punt the ball oh Schultz Schultz with a nice route right there getting the beautiful catch he's been a monster we can do right here i think odell should be able to get open oh no oh that was a little risky okay odell oh odell that's why we got him or should i say that's why we're lucky that we got him man we landed on him in the wheel the wheel spins man this time we're trying to get out of bounds come on we gotta beat him there we go should be able to get schultz or odell open one of them should be wide open actually lamar's gonna oh we were gonna take off but odell's open what a catch touchdown all right here we go moment of truth can we get the toss yes keep in mind this is still the regular season so there's no playoff overtime rules if we get a touchdown this first drive we win this game and we're headed to the postseason have to keep the chains move cannot afford to give them this amazing field position oh lamar take off somebody come back and help him out no horrendous three plays right there man i don't know what happened but it starts on the punt return it starts right here man great tackle user and wagner once again gotta watch Traylon burks gotta watch henry no how do we not get the swat are you kidding me Oh, what? He caught that. Traylon Burks with the game-winning touchdown. I thought we had the pick. GG's, Tennessee. So now we're just going to see if we can get the wildcard spot. Let's go. We still somehow ended up first in the division. I'm guessing we had the tiebreaker, man. Somehow, the Titans didn't make it, even though they beat us in the second game. Lamar was top five in touchdowns and passing yards. 41 tutties, only 17 picks, over 5,000 yards for Mr. Jackson. He had three rushing touchdowns. Jamal Williams had eight. Juju had two. Pollard had four. 
and a thousand yard season. We had 3,000 yard receivers, man. Dalton Schultz, 1,300 yards, 105 receptions, 12 tutties. Incredible season for a tight end, man. Odell, Juju also had a thousand yards, 12 tutties by Jacoby. Bobby Wagner, of course, led us in tackling. TJ Edwards was second. Three guys with double digit tackles for a loss. Hargrave on Yamada and Clowney. Speaking of Jadeveon, he led us with 11 sacks. Hargrave was second with 10. Two guys had multiple interceptions. McCain and Wagner, the Bobby Show. Joe Burr won the MVP, however, man. Lamar was in the top five. And Doug Peterson was sixth for coach of the year. Schultz was top eight for OPOI. I don't think I've ever seen a tight end finish that high in any award. Like, they're usually not even close, no matter what they do. So, that I'm telling you, that's a phenomenal season right there. Lamar finishes fifth for best QB. Jacoby ends up the ninth best wide receiver. We had two guys in the top ten for best D-lineman, Hargrave and Clowney. And best kicker, we had Matt Gay end up number seven. Seven. Here are the end of season rankings for both us and our wild card opponent. The Broncos actually scored more points than us. They had a better defense than us. Our run defense is horrendous, 28th in the league, and we're not very good at running the ball, 22nd. But we're pretty good when it comes to passing and stopping the pass. And here we go, overtime. This time, we're going to have the playoff OT rule. So even though they get ball first, we still have a chance to win even if they score a tutty. We've been helping them throughout the regular season, but now it's the playoffs. I can't can't help them anymore. Good defense. Wilson with all day to throw it over the middle. Javante gets open this time. First and goal. They've moved all the way down the field. And who else but Greg Dulcich giving them the lead. Now Lamar needs to lead us down the field and tie this bad boy up to keep our season alive. Here comes the blitz by the Broncos. Lamar on the run. Touchdown. Odell Beckham Jr. Next score wins. Third down and 10. How do we not get a stop, man? Judy gets the first. First, he fumbles out of bounds. And here it is, the game-winning kick, sending the Broncos into the next round. And our season ends here. Still had a good time. Lamar had a phenomenal season. Pollard did his thing on the ground, man. We had so many guys. Juju, Odell, Schultz, all had great seasons. So now I know we need to do this again. We need to run it back in a few weeks with some of the same free agents, you know, but some of them will be signed. And there's gonna be a new crop of guys that have been cut. So once again, thanks for watching destroy the like button if you can't wait for the next one you enjoyed this one and i'll see you guys on the next video feeling like i hit the jackpot he don't want to catch a fade i'm a really getting black dot he ain't really about that life better breathe for you fat bop steady rocking with the stripes i'm a really getting checked. everybody getting checked everybody getting bass will it end will it last better cars going fast please don't say you want to be in my dreams we play pretend Maybe I can love you and listen, listen, listen